I want to talk about Honda's CRF 450L. gone by riding these trails where we are on Dave Thorpe's place I've sort of warmed to it more and more it's very easy I mean a 450 is normally a bit of a nasty savage I don't know just enduring thing to ride it pulls your bloody arms out of your sockets but because you don't rev this thing and because it's altogether more calm it, it's just got a calming effect on you and it, it really helped me in a lot of situations where a 450 enduro bike might be a bit too fierce. Uh, ridden it on the road as well, it's a bit breathless I have to say, uh, it'll do about 70 eventually but it's primarily focused to be used off-road. It's a trailer bike, really, really likeable, ace suspension. It's based heavily on the CRF 450R motocross bike and you can tell really it's got a, a light feel I think it's about 130 kilos plus fuel it's not as light as a pucker enduro bike but it's got a, a stability about it it's the other thing that you need to be sort of need to be aware of is the service intervals you've got to whip the oil out every thousand K now that's about 620 miles that is pretty often listen it's got a two-year warranty, unlimited mileage, so you're going to have to do that within that period. And if you're used to enduro bikes, that's not unusual. It's an easy job to do. They've said to me off the record that if you use it just on road, you may well be able to go over that. But in that warranty period, you're going to have to do it. So I think it's in a bit of a class of one, this. It's a sort of easy enduro bike. Not savage, pretty easy to manage, friendly. Um, and because it's a Honda, it's probably going to last a long time as well. It, it's early days, that's just a first impression. Uh, but I wouldn't mind one as a long-termer, I'll tell you. Right, Graham, I'll tell you what, thank you very much for that last sort of half an hour or so. You're welcome. It really showed that bike off in a, a good light, didn't it? You know when you were saying, right, who wants the more difficult routey bit or the steeper climbs? I, internally, I'm going, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm a bit knackered. But I'm glad I did because the bike just makes it all the more easy for you, doesn't it? Much, much easier on that thing than many other enduro bikes have really. Yeah, it does, and I think I think you just found that you, you don't have to be uh, three quarter full, full throttle all the time. You can just ride through the the loamy stuff over yep. the roots and everything. It's got grip. It's got it's got low down grunt, and it just takes you through it. And like you said, you've like it's not threatened you, and it's it, made it, it feel easy. It doesn't get out of hand, does it? Well, no, no. And they, they work really well on yep. that on that soft crust that you get from yep. going in between trees and yep. over roots and yep. as you know you've just had a, had a ball you know properly yeah we, we mean, mentioned another really handy feature as well c-type it's not stratospherically high is it no you can get on and off it and as you said you can dab can't yeah. you and you can reach the ground with your feet yeah well for us vertically challenged people <laughs> um what i find with a motocross bike or an in, or a tall enduro bike you put your foot down you get a stretch in your groin or your hamstring, it's threatening, you think, I don't like that. With this, the seat height's low, you put a comforting foot down, there's no stretch, it's perfect. And Well, you've got the ground to help save you, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, you know? yeah and, and, and there's no harm in doing that. And I mean, who'd have thought 25 horsepower could provide so much entertainment? Do you and need that, any more? Well, that, that's the secret, isn't it? It doesn't, like, get out of hand by suddenly producing sort of 40 no. or more in a hurry, no. quickly. No. Doesn't matter how much you rev it, it doesn't get away from you. It doesn't threaten you, no. Yeah. Even downhill, you know, sometimes you're going downhill, you pull a bit too much throttle, you just uh, yeah. let the throttle off again yeah. and it just slows down again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
I like it. I don't.